But yeah, super stoked to be getting my brows done. But they are definitely like a lighter yellow. Blonder, brighter, we love it. Ooh. So here's what the salad looks like when you're all done. for both my brows and my nails and then I am way way overdue for my hair you guys know I've been complaining about my roots and tomorrow was the first opening that my hairdresser had so today is brows and tomorrow is gonna be nails and hair and hopefully I will feel refreshed and not like I need to touch up a million things on myself so I'm really excited about today and tomorrow just kind of like getting myself you know where I would like to be but yeah super stoked to be getting my brows done they are so stiff right now it's really really hard to shape them so I am very very much due for it I'm about eight weeks out from my last appointment that's how it just tends to work out for me it's usually at about like every two months exactly that I end up touching up. I try to do it at six weeks, but it doesn't always work out because I do it through class pass. So I usually need to wait till like my month has paid out before I can schedule. But yeah, excited to fix these cause they're looking really sad. rundown of everything that I got from Walmart and Trader Joe's while I'm hanging out. First thing, we got a new spatula. All of our spatulas are like at the end of their lives, so <laughs> needed a new one. And this one's actually kind of cool. It has like a little thing to prop it up on the back, so that's kind of nice. Then I got a few pump covers. The first one is this white one with this blue butterfly. It says fearless on the front. I get mine from the men's section and I get a men's XL because these will shrink. So just know that if you're gonna get pump covers from the men's section from Walmart, they will shrink. Then I also got, this one's my favorite, Baby Yoda, it's Grogu. We already know from the last vlog I am super crazy about Star Wars, so another Star Wars shirt. This would have been great three days ago. <laughs> and I also got this gray one, it just says it's a vibe cute and then I did get a crew neck sweatshirt I just loved the color on this one and I liked the design it's a little Chevrolet crew neck I got it in a men's large because it was all they had left and it was actually on sale it's originally like 20 bucks I got it for 11 so very happy when I found that and then from Trader Joe's first off I went in there for flowers and I was like oh my god all of the flowers are gone it was picked over like crazy so I'm gonna have to do like a really weird arrangement for the living room I'm not loving it but it was the best I could do with what they had but I was like trying to figure out I was like why the hell is like the flower section picked over so bad like even like baby's breath was gone that's what I was mainly looking for and I realized Mother's Day weekend so whoops but I got 
these flowers. So got these red mums and then these like green, I don't know what these are called. Are these like mini mums? They're mums big branch. Um, so I'm not a fan of doing red and green. It feels like Christmas for me, but that's all I really had to work with. Also, I feel like we're so close right now. Just kidding. That's about as good as it's going to get. Okay. Then I also got these crisp, crunchy crisps. These are pea and chickpea snacks. I've had these before. They're really, really good. We get this avocado and cilantro hummus from the farmer's market in Irvine where Trevor works. So I got these to dip. Then I also have been seeing this on TikTok. These are new and I've been wanting to try them. They're the fancy cheese crunchies and these are cheese and truffle flavored. So let me go ahead and try these. Very, very curious. Hmm. They don't necessarily smell truffley. They just smell more cheesy than anything. But okay, I'm just gonna try one. I'm so full from my lunch and my Fair Life shake. I honestly like can't even stand the thought of eating one of these, but it's fine. We just, we're just gonna try it. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. When I smell it, all I can smell is cheese. I can't smell any truffle. But when I eat it, all I can taste is truffle. I can't taste any cheese. That's so weird, but really good. What else? Oh, I wanted to make Julia Havens' like Brussels sprout kale salad. She put up the recipe on Instagram and I've been like waiting for the recipe for this. So I got all the fixings to make it. The recipe calls for dino kale. I couldn't find any. So I'm gonna go with this Tuscan kale and I'm just gonna chop this all up really, really finely. I mean, it's already chopped up, but I'm gonna chop it up even more. And I also called for Brussels sprouts. So I got shaved Brussels sprouts because you're supposed to chop them finely, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have Trader Joe's do the work and I'm just gonna get the already shaved Brussels sprouts. And then, ugh, I hate mustard, but the recipe calls for mustard. I don't mind Dijon mustard in a dressing, but I hate mustard on its own. So I don't love the fact that I have to make the dressing because I'm gonna have to work with the mustard directly and but it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, we'll be okay. And then the last thing for that salad was just some pecorino cheese. And then, got some ground turkey for a spark. You guys want me to see that? But I also got my favorite maple syrup. I'm running low. This is the organic Vermont maple syrup from Trader Joe's. So yeah, that is everything that I got. Hoping everything will keep fairly decently in the car. I think it's gonna take about 20 minutes to do my brows if that maybe closer to 15 so as soon as i'm done with that i'll head back home actually no i can't head straight back home i need to pick up dinner since i'm in huntington beach we really really love this peruvian place here and obviously we never get to go because we don't live near it anymore so i told trevor i'd pick it up after my brow appointment so i should probably go ahead and put in our orders. I get the like fried chicken with rice and salsa. It's not like your traditional Mexican salsa. It's like, what's it called? Like Carrillo salsa or something like that. I'm sure I'm butchering that and I apologize if you are Peruvian. It's the Criolla salsa. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong still. It's C-R-I-O-L-L-A, but since it's a double L in a Spanish language, it's the ya sound, but but that's hard to pronounce with it coming right after the I-O. So I don't know. I probably am pronouncing that wrong, but that salsa is really, really good. It's just like super chunky and fresh. So I'm gonna put in our order so that it'll hopefully be ready by the time I'm done with my brows. Just pulled up here to the Peruvian place. Oh my gosh, here's my brows. It looks so good. Okay, now it's focused, but they look so good. She fucking kills it every single time. I love it. But okay, I'm gonna go grab the food and then we're gonna head home. Here is my pescado frito, fried fish. This salsa is so freaking good. White rice. It's selling Sunset Reunion. Good morning, you guys. I am getting ready to leave here, putting on my jewelry. Today is the bulk of the beautification for my glow up. I have my nail appointment in about an hour and a half, but I wanna stop and get Starbucks for breakfast. I just do not feel like making myself breakfast this morning. I was originally going to, but I was just like, never mind. Plus I'll be more rushed if I actually make breakfast and like sit down to eat it here than if I just like were to pick it up over there. So we're just gonna do that. And then after my nails, I'm finally getting my hair done. That has been absolutely much needed. Like my hair is just 
am I even blonde anymore? Seriously. So yeah, packed day. Then I have to come back here and do my makeup. I was originally thinking I might come back in between my nails and my hair, but I think it'll just be easier if I just go straight. Just probably pick up some lunch after I get my nails done. But yeah, once I get back, I have to get ready because we're doing Mother's Day tonight and we're gonna be going to Il Fornaio, which is a very, very, very nice Italian restaurant. So I gotta get done up and dressed for that. And then afterwards, we're gonna stop by Trevor's friend's birthday party. So super, super packed day. Luckily tomorrow I have absolutely no plans that I'm obligated to. So I'm just going to relax tomorrow. But today we're going to get work done. We're going to get all this cleaned up. I actually just realized I need to order some stuff before I go. I don't think I've mentioned it, but we are going to San Francisco next month for my goddaughter's baptism. I'm so honored to be asked to be a godparent. So... I need to order my dress. I want to get it earlier just so that if I don't like it, if it doesn't fit or anything, I have time to exchange it and stuff. So I'm going to do that and then we are going to get out of here and go get breakfast before my nails. I just put my order in at Starbucks. I'm just going to pick it up at the Starbucks on the way. I was going to do it at the one at the mall, but I'd have to walk across to the other side of the mall to pick it up. What's the point of doing that when my nails is on the other side? So yeah, I'm just going to pick it up on the way. And then I'm also trying to check. So I put up a poll yesterday or two days ago I think it was asking what color I should do my nails I wanted like something very springy and I put up sage green just for like a darker green moment peach pastel yellow or mint and peach and pastel yellow tied <laughs> so I think it's just gonna come down to what the selection is at my nail place between peach and pastel yellow. I don't even know if they're gonna have like a light yellow dip powder because the dip powder selection is smaller than the gel nail selection. So yeah, I think that's what it's honestly gonna come down to. But if you guys wanna participate in stuff like that, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I don't post on Instagram very often anymore. Instagram has just got it. I don't know, it's just not fun to me anymore. I'm definitely more of a TikTok girl, like when I shoot with Michelle. I've switched over to mainly shooting video that I use for TikTok rather than photos for Instagram. So, yeah, I, I like I'm not saying I'm abandoning Instagram, but I definitely am taking my foot way off the gas pedal on that app. It's just they make it impossible and it's like I said, it's just not fun anymore, you know? I like when the sun in my head, in my head, I like when the sun in my neck, in my neck, I like when the sun in my chest, in my chest, I like when the sun, I like when the sun in my head, in my head. Just got done and here are the finished nails. Unfortunately, dip is very, very limited in colors. So we couldn't get like a true pastel, but they are definitely like a lighter yellow. Really cute, very, very spring. I just would have like preferred them a little bit creamier, but it's all good. Like I said, I knew going into it that dip was gonna be limited on the choices. So, I mean, I think we got pretty close-ish, but my hairstylist asked me if I could come about a half hour earlier, which is perfect. So I'm just gonna grab a sandwich really quick. I think I'm gonna get Mendocino Farms. I was really bummed. I was gonna get my sushi roll that I usually get after I get my nails done, but they're actually closed on the weekends, so no sushi today. So I'm like, all right, we'll get the sandwich. That sounds delicious. Four million years later, I got my order. Not entirely their fault. They were behind because there was a huge catering order that was ahead of mine and a few other people's order. So their to-go team was trying to bust that out, which I totally understand how those orders can fuck up your day because they're just so massive. But got my sandwich. I have like a half hour to my appointment. I'm not entirely sure what I should do. <laughs> I already recorded my transition clips for my TikToks for my hair. That's done, luckily. Oh, but I should show you guys the hair before we transform it. Oh my gosh. I mean, you guys have been seeing it, but there's like a real good look here. Just so much root going on. I'm. It's so fucking dark. I'm not a fan right now. So yeah, we're gonna brighten it up. I'm gonna tell her, go as blonde as we can go. And 
I'm also gonna get my hair cut. I should have gotten a haircut about like two or three sessions ago, but just with, you know, everything, Spartacus and stuff, and just trying to get all the trips squared away, it was one of those like, I'll just, I'll cut my hair later. And right now I'm at a point where I'm like, great, let's fucking cut my hair, so. I do have a haircut saved. I loved Jordan Sloan's haircut that she just got. So I'm gonna pretty much ask for it, but just like a longer version. Cause her hair is definitely shorter than mine and I do not want to chop off that much. I want to leave my hair long for all of the weddings. I mean, in general, I like my hair long anyways, but I definitely want it long for everything that we're gonna be doing. But let me see if I can find her, yes. So here's the haircut. So cute, it's like, pretty much a blunt cut but with like some thick face framing layers little bit of layering in the front just like barely though so yeah I really really loved it I just like I need more happening like it's just all so you know you know you get what I'm saying so yeah I'm just gonna fix all this up hopefully my hair will look a million times better. One of the things though that I love about hair days is that I don't have to do my hair. All I have to do when I get home is my makeup, which is fantastic. When it comes to like getting ready, I definitely prefer doing my makeup over doing my hair. I hate doing my hair so much. It's just like, I mean, it's not the actual styling of my hair that I hate. It's when I have to wash it and style it because it's just such a long process. If you're a girl with long hair, especially long thick hair, you get it, you know. Washing it and drying it already takes so damn long, then on top of that I have to style it. So half the time on like care wash days when I'm going out, I just leave it fucking straight because I'm like, I can't spend even like 10 more minutes on my hair right now. So it's nice that she'll just go ahead and style it and everything and that it'll actually look blonde again because I haven't liked feeling brunette. It's just, it's not my vibe absolutely not my vibe. I just parked across the street so that I could eat. I'm like not even hungry, but I know that I would be hungry like in the middle of my hair appointment. So I figured I might as well, like, what the hell? There's like a random, I accidentally got a piece of lettuce stuck in here. I was like, wait, this doesn't come with any lettuce on it, but here's what I get. It's the prosciutto and chicken sandwich. I don't get the honey almonds because I don't really like almonds. I actually don't like most nuts unless I'm just like snacking on cashews or pistachios. Sometimes peanuts. I love peanut butter. I love nut butters, but actual nuts, I've never been like a huge fan. But. Mm -hmm. It's legitimately like the best sandwich in the world. It's so good. Yum. It was perfect that she asked me to come in early because I need to stop somewhere and get flowers from my mom for tonight. If I can find any. Like I said, when I went to Trader Joe's yesterday, it was stripped of like all the flowers. But fingers crossed I can find some somewhere. We'll see how it goes. And we're done. You guys can barely see. I'll give you guys a better look when we get home. Right now, I just need to get to Trader Joe's, hopefully find some flowers. We'll see. Like I said, after yesterday, I don't really know. And then get home and do my makeup. But oh my God, my hair feels so much better. And I scheduled my next two appointments with her already, just cause her schedule fills up really fast. And I just wanna be on a very specific schedule to touch up my hair at certain times for the upcoming bachelorette trips. So I just wanna make sure my color is fresh, especially for Cabo. So we had to like kind of time it out to see God, sorry, you guys are bouncing so much. But yeah, we had to like time it out to see when the best time for me to get my hair touched up right before Cabo would be and then what a good like intermediate time frame would be in between. But oh God, it looks so good. We want a little bit blonder because she's just kind of taking me slightly blonder and blonder each session, which we love. I also got my hair cut. My hair needed it so bad. Like, look at how much bouncier it is. I feel so much better. I'm excited. I'm very happy. I feel like me again. I have my brows done. I have my nails done. My hair done. Feeling very, very good. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm blocking an intersection right now. I did not mean to do that. But yeah, okay, I need to go, like I said, find flowers for my mom. I need to find a card. Ugh. 
don't want to do like a Trader Joe's card. I'm like the type, like if things get too mushy, like on cards or messages and stuff, it makes me uncomfortable. So I always like funny cards or like something with a little humor in it just to kind of like lighten the tone. Cause I just, I can't with like the overly sentimental. And I feel like all the Trader Joe's cards are just like very sentimental, you know? So I might need to go there and stop somewhere else to get a mother shape card. All right, not only did we get flowers, look at how pretty this bouquet is. So spring and perfect for Mother's Day. But I saw Trader Joe's came out with new sparkling water flavors and we already know I am a sparkling water addict. I love sparkling water. I didn't talk about it in the last video, but I love Trader Joe's sparkling water, but they usually only have the blueberry lemonade. I prefer the canned ones. I'll get the bottle ones if I have to, but I do prefer canned sparkling water. I just feel like it tastes fresher, canned or in a glass bottle. The plastic ones, I just feel like the carbonation doesn't hit the same with plastic bottles, sparkling water. So I don't really drink their bottled ones, but I do drink their one can one, which is the blueberry lemonade. Although I think for like a hot minute, they also came out with a watermelon lemonade. That one was okay, but I do love the blueberry lemonade. They came out with two new flavors, so I had to pick them up. The first one was the raspberry lime. You guys, raspberry lime is one of my favorite combos. So I'm very excited about this. Can't wait to try it. And then, my favorite freaking fruit, pineapple. Love it. So I'm very, very excited about both of those and I can't wait to try them out. But now I gotta get home and do my makeup so that I can finish up some TikToks, also make some TikToks, and also, you know, obviously be ready for dinner tonight. I told you guys I would give you a better look at my hair when we got home. Here it is, blonder, brighter, we love it. And then for the haircut, if anybody is interested, I got a blunt haircut with some face framing pieces slash like long curtain bangs, but I love it. My hair looks so much better, so much healthier. Look at the back. I mean, it is a blunt cut, but there's like just a little bit of layering because I had some leftover layers that were still growing out and I didn't want to cut to the absolute shortest layers. So she blended them a little bit, but for the most part, it's pretty uniform in length. And I really, really love the way my hair came out. I'm also looking at outfits for later. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is like an old Fashion Nova corset and then my low rise Abercrombie jeans and then just like a pair of heels if I could figure out where the hell they went. But yeah, and then now I need to change for dinner. Although we actually have like an hour till we have to leave. So I have some time. So I'm gonna keep making some TikToks and then we'll head out for dinner. I just decided I'm just gonna wear the outfit to dinner too. I was gonna do a dress, but I don't feel like changing. So I have on this corset, like I said earlier, the Abercrombie jeans, these printed block heels that I wear a lot because I love them. I threw on this trench coat because it's chilly and then just my bag. So that's the fit. Trevor's getting <laughs> dressed right now. We're gonna head out of here. So we thought we were gonna have to wait for forever to get a table because this place is like really well known, always a freaking wait. But apparently we came in at the right time and Trevor charmed them. A party canceled so we got sat right away. Good job, Trevor. <laughs> so we're waiting for my family right now, but I ordered an alcohol spritz. I've never had one, I've always been curious. Figured an Italian restaurant would be a great place to try one. So I'm just waiting for it to come out and I'm gonna try my first one. So good. Okay. It's good, it's nice, it's very refreshing. With a little bitterness at the end though, but I still like it.
Everything else, and I like to be a Libra, Libra, but, but I, I, was I have been having the laziest Sunday. I just did not want to get out of bed this morning. I didn't finally leave bed until like almost noon. I had been awake since 10, but I just like scrolled on my phone for like two hours in bed. I just, I was in no mood to go do anything, but finally got up, finally did the flower arrangement that I bought, and now we're heading to Target. I just need to go grab a few things, not as big as the last Target shopping trip that I did, because that was absolutely massive. But yeah, I just need to pick up a few things. I'm gonna go ahead and just also do our groceries at Target as well. We just need like a couple of things, like some fruits and some veggies, and I think I can go ahead and get that at Target as well. When I get back, I think for dinner, I mean, I still need to pick up lunch. I was thinking of getting firehouse subs. I haven't had it in a while. But later tonight for dinner, after I get back, I think I'm gonna make the Julia Havens kale and Brussels sprout salad that I mentioned, I think it was on Friday when I got stuff from Trader Joe's. I'm thinking I'm gonna make that with some like chicken nuggets or something for dinner. That sounds really good. I've been dying to try that salad. So we'll definitely put that together later. I guess I was a Got done at Target. I actually got Spartacus a new dog bed. So he has always been kind of fidgety about sleeping through the night. He oftentimes gets on and off the bed a couple times. Sometimes he just decides to sleep on the ground, which makes me sad whenever he does that because I prefer it when he sleeps in the bed because I love it when he's sleeping with me. But obviously, you know, sometimes he gets hot or he gets uncomfortable or, you know, one of us might be having kind of like a restless sleep, which annoys him, so he'll decide to sleep on the ground. But we had been storing our comforter kind of like in the corner of the room where my mirror is. And he has gotten accustomed to sleeping there because like usually when he sleeps on the ground, it's usually one of two things. If it's he's sleeping on the ground because it's too hot, he'll just like spread out on an area of the ground where there's nothing touching him. But if he's just deciding to sleep on the ground because he just wants to sleep without being disturbed, he likes a more secure space. And typically when he does that, it's that he likes to sleep on something that's like a pile of our clothes so that he feels like secure and cozy. Lately, says the comforter has been in a pile on the ground. He has loved sleeping on the comforter in the corner of the room, but we want to put the comforter back on the bed. I mean, we need to wash it again because he's been sleeping on it and it's been on the ground. But yeah, we want to put it back on the bed. So I bought him a new little doggy bed that'll fit perfectly in the corner over there. So I'll set that up for him. I'll probably need to put like one of our sheets over it or something just to get him to like it just so you know it has like our scents on it and stuff but yeah hopefully he'll like that I got one that definitely matches our room our room is definitely more like cool toned woods a little bit more earthy not that like I'm a great decorator or anything so it's not like entirely themed but that's just more the vibe in our room. We wanted it to feel like more relaxed and stuff and we felt like earthy kind of relaxed us. So I got him one that kind of like fits in with that kind of decor. But right now I'm gonna go get a sandwich quickly because I have ice cream in the back. So I don't want it to melt, but I really, really want firehouse subs. I've been looking forward to that. Okay, sir, how are we feeling, huh? Are we liking it? Are we like, is this a good good cushioning for you? Feels comfy? I made sure to get you one that has like edges so you can feel secure. Do we like it? Is this a yes? Is this a keep or return? It seems like it's a keep. 
Huh? This seems like it's a keep. <laughs> got my sandwich. Oh my god, it looks so good. I get turkey, cheddar, tomato, lettuce, olives, and cucumbers with salt and pepper and oil and vinegar on the white bread, and it's so good. And by the way, he is still in his bed. I, I haven't even had a chance to put it upstairs because he refuses to get out of it. We're liking the new bed. Yeah. So I have been chopping and shredding the kale for like the last 20 minutes. I'm so glad that I got the Brussels sprouts already pre-shredded because if I had to do that again for the Brussels sprouts, I don't think I would have finished the salad. But here's both of them in the bowl. I'm making Julia's salad. I don't think I mentioned that, but you need a cup of olive oil, which this can use up like all of our olive oil. Oh, that's not good. You guys have to go back to the grocery store tomorrow. go. All right, we have a little bit left, but we definitely need some more olive oil later. Oh, I do want to say, so I couldn't necessarily find dino kale. I probably could have if I went to Whole Foods, but I just went to Trader Joe's. But I'm going to be using the organic Tuscan kale, which I think is similar to dino kale. If not, it's like the same thing. One thing that I did do though, is I took out all of the stalks because I just didn't want to like bite into stalks while I was eating it. It just makes it smoother if you take them out, personally, in my opinion. Then we need two tablespoons of this Dijon mustard. I am not a mustard girl, but like I explained, I'm down for like Dijon mustard in a vinaigrette. I don't want to smell, I don't want to smell, I don't want to smell. I mean, I'm, I will abandon this if I get a whiff of it. Okay, so one tablespoon. Oh God, it's so disgusting. Sorry if you're a mustard fan, but I cannot. Ooh. Call that a day of that. Ew, 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 ew. Then I need the juice of one whole lemon. So let me just wash this really quick. And let's juice this. I don't have one of those little presses. I wish I did, but we're gonna do our best here. Oh my god, little chunks of the mustard are rising. Oh, that's disgusting. And like the lemon's really important in this because it's gonna break down the kale and the uh, Brussels sprouts. Since they are harder greens, you know, they're cruciferous greens, so they're gonna be a little bit tough, but the lemon juice will like almost cook it a little bit, just kind of like similar to like how you put raw fish in ceviche, but then the citrus cooks it. It's the same thing as, a, although, I mean, like you said, it doesn't really cook it, but it does soften it and kind of like break it down and just make it, and just makes it easier to like eat and digest and stuff. And then we just need salt and pepper. Then just whisk it all together. So, let's get that all whisked together, nice and smooth. Probably should have used our metal whisk, but that's fine. I mean, you smell the lemon. Luckily, I don't really smell the Dijon. I mean, Dijon mustard to me doesn't really smell or taste like regular mustard, but I still don't like it on its own. So, my hope is I'm mainly gonna smell and taste the lemon. So I've got it all whisked together as best I can. I'll just pour it right over. Oh, there's so much Dijon left in the bottom of that. I know I'm being dramatic about the mustard, but I really don't like mustard. <laughs> and then let's toss this, get everything nice and coated and mix together. And the reason why I was like really interested in making this salad is because they said that it keeps for a week and it's like better the longer it sits for and marinates, which is a great thing when you're doing like meal prep and stuff. So this is going to be like a quick veggie that I can throw together with literally any dish that I'm making. I could do this for lunch with some pre-shredded rotisserie chicken just for something that I can throw together in literally five minutes. I can use this as the side veggie with like a protein and some rice, which is actually what I'm going to do today. And I just wanted to make it ahead of time so that this can marinate for at least an hour or two before I'm ready to eat dinner, just because I really want the dressing to break down the kale and the Brussels sprouts really well. But yeah, I mean, usually it's hard with salads, you know, like they don't keep for very long. So the fact that this one keeps for a week is really, really impressive. But okay, I think we're all good. And now the last step, some Pecorino Romano cheese. I got the Trader Joe's one. 
I love cheese. I'm just gonna generously top it off. We don't need to do exact measurements. Ballpark figures are fine. And knowing me, I will probably just throw on some more cheese whenever I eat this, just like a little sprinkle right on top, because that sounds wonderful. And also we don't really use pecorino cheese that much in my house, so I gotta use it for something, so I'll just add more cheese whenever I eat this. So here's what the salad looks like when you're all done. Like I said, it's just like a good base or like easy side to have in your fridge. That's just gonna make meal prepping like a lot easier. But let's give this a little try. Still very uh, nervous about the dressing. And this is me fully knowing that the kale and the Brussels sprouts haven't really softened that much yet because it needs to marinate, but we are trying for flavor right now. Delightful. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Wow. Yeah, you don't really taste the Dijon. You can taste like a little bit of the lemon. You can definitely taste the olive oil, so that's why she says to use a good quality olive oil, but you mainly taste the cheese. So it's really, really good. Highly recommend you guys try making this, but I am just gonna saran wrap this and cover it until I'm ready for dinner. Important update, I looked it up, Tuscan kale is dino kale. They're the same thing. So I got the correct kale for this. So if you're looking for dino kale and you can't find it, Trader Joe's has Tuscan kale, which is gonna be the same thing. For dinner, I'm having the kale and Brussels sprout salad we made. I paired it with the bare naked chicken nuggets. And then also this is bonza rice. So this is what I used. It's the garlic and olive oil one and it looks really really good so i cooked up some of that and that's what i'm having with the salad but i'm gonna end the vlog here we're watching interstellar right now so i'll see you guys in the next one do you see me clearly i'm talking deep inside tell me sincerely set aside your pride is this just one side